you know, here on the Morning Blend, we try to give you many suggestions to enhance your lifestyle, and that includes suggestions for the kids. And as the temperatures are pretty hot, What's hot in the toy department? What are kids wanting to play with? Well, we get to welcome back our friend Jennifer Lynch, of course, from the Toy Association, our toy trends specialist. Jennifer, good to see you again. Great to see you too. So uh, let's dive right in. I will tell you right now, my daughter is uh, not in a summer camp and thankfully we have some Legos in our house that have been keeping her entertained, but she's one of those that always wants like the next set. So anything in the building department that's really catching your eye? Yes, and this one's even perfect for kids that might be staying home on a staycation. Maybe you're still trying to get in that vacation theme. This is the Lego Beach Glamping Set. I love it. Um, kids can set up their own little uh, play set that features tons of little settings. There's paddle boards included so they can pretend to go around the island. There's a little campfire set up so they can have a toast of marshmallows at the end of the night. And there's even a little cabana that's got a toilet and a shower to rinse off after a day at the beach. So really fun elements throughout. And it, and it has the characters from Heart Lake City too, doesn't it? Exactly. The beach is set in Heart Lake City, so you can go on an imaginative adventure there. Oh, we love that one. Okay, what do you have about uh, maybe having some fun in the sun, maybe some beach games almost? Yes, so the Jenga Giant, um, this is the JS4. Um, this is the newest edition in Art Ideas um, Jenga Giant collection. Um, what I like about this is that the size is really perfect. It starts out as 12 inches tall, but it actually goes up to three, over three feet high as you're building. And the great thing is it comes in this great tote bag. So if you're headed to the beach, stick this in a tote bag. You can play on the beach. You can play, play it indoors as well um, for a family game night. Um, Jenga is such a great game for doing that. And this is a perfect size for that. Oh, absolutely. Now, uh, this next product I'm kind of interested to learn more about. I'm not going to lie. I have some time, to, uh, you know, the, what is it? The nervous energy. Like I love bubble yes. wrap. I love the whole pop it trend. What's uh -huh. in that world? Yeah, so this is really perfect if you are heading out on a road trip this summer. This is the Pop It Challenge Activity Book from Klutz. Um, and this one, as you can see, it's got a Pop It toy built into the side of it, but there's tons of activities throughout the book that you can play. There's trivia you can do. You can pretend that there, uh, you can do a true or false quiz with this book. There's even a version of the old, old school game of Mancala that you can play. So there's tons of different ways that you can play with the Pop It Fidget toy and take out some of that stress relief and hopefully, um, you know, help kids from saying, are you there to get too many times in the car? <laughs> <laughs> I swear we do that. Even just going to a, like a restaurant, my daughter be like, how long does it take? So having yeah. those in the car, good suggestion there, Jennifer. <laughs> Hey, uh, another thing, though, that my daughter is all about these days, dolls. And I feel mm -hmm. like we're seeing a trend happening with doll manufacturers and being all inclusive and having a doll that represents everybody. Is that what you're seeing, too? Absolutely. And the Rainbow Highline from MGA Entertainment is doing a really great job at that. Their new Series 4 collection has the most diverse and inclusive dolls they've ever featured. Um, they've got one with the skin condition um, albinism. They've got one with the skin condition vitiligo. Um, what I also like is there's, you know, the um, the one doll that even features glasses. There's a tons of girls that wear glasses and they can see themselves reflected in that way even as well. Um, so tons of diversity seen across the line. There's 30 different um, facial sculpts. There's 20 plus different skin tones. So lots of variety to choose from. And I really just love that, you know, kids can see themselves reflected in the toys they're playing with. Oh, good for them. I love being able to talk about this. Okay, uh, last but not least, something I am not hearing the end of from my five-year-old. It is on her wish list for her birthday, which is in December, mind you. But that's how <laughs> hot LOL dolls are, aren't they? Exactly, um, and they're continuing to grow, but this new line is really special. It's the LOL Surprise Earth Love Series, and um, instead of the plastic packaging that's you've typically seen in the past with LOL Surprise unboxing experience, everything is totally sustainably designed, so it's, pla it's no plastic is included in the packaging. Um, it even features kind of little tissue paper to do the unboxing experience of all the accessories as you unbox inside. And, um, you know, the great thing about it is that you can either recycle or you can reuse it after um, playtime is over. The company um, even says that they're going to have um, 45 million of the LOL Surprise toys by the end of this year, um, moving towards sustainability. So oh, really great initiative. It. 
I like a great thing to talk about. Talk about Earth love with your own kids. <laughs> Absolutely. Start that early. Jennifer, as always, we appreciate your time and all of your fabulous suggestions. Just check out the Toy Association for even more info. Take care and join us again soon, okay? Absolutely. Love to come back.